Well, welcome to today's video. If you've been a friend of my channel for any amount of time, you're probably familiar with that bridge. I have a trail camera overlooking that bridge, and over the last number of years, there's probably been hundreds of photos of animals crossing that bridge. But Houston, we have a problem. Take a look at this clip from about a month ago, and then a more recent clip, and see if you can see what the problem is. What probably didn't take you long to see what the problem was? Yes, my bridge is falling down and I'm nowhere near London. So today's project, we gotta get this bridge patched back up. The funny thing is my other larger bridge washed away in a flood several months ago, uh, got that fixed. Now this bridge uh, is given trouble. This aging infrastructure really does cause a lot of trouble. Now I figure I have a couple solutions, a couple ways I can fix this. I can place a tool here and then any of the animals that cross this bridge is gonna have to pay a tool. Uh, maybe I can up the gasoline tax. Uh, the price per gallon can just go up and then the money I collect from that, uh, I can make repairs to this bridge. Well, a couple problems with that. The animals probably aren't gonna pay the tool. Uh, they'll probably just skip right on past the easy pass. And I don't know that a lot of them buy gasoline. So that might not be a good fix either. Well, enough with the political jokes. I'm actually pretty good at saving money and putting it uh, aside and saving it for a rainy day or for future projects. Uh, one more political joke. I'll bet you've never heard a politician say that. Well, I'm pretty good at saving funds and setting them aside for future projects. On to today's project. It's gonna be a simple fix. Uh, it shouldn't take long and I'm actually certified in R&R. &R, so I'll be able to get, you don't know what R&R &R is? Well, that's redneck repair. You follow along, this should not take long. I'm simply gonna patch this back up and get it working so that the critters can come past my trail camera again. So here's a view you don't often get to see, and that is down inside uh, my small creek here that runs. And if you take a look there, uh, the bridge is definitely sagging down into the bank. My idea is just to put uh, some, another two by six on either side of it to extend that even further up onto the bank and hopefully that'll fix it at least for another couple of years. The good thing about redneck repair is you get plenty of experience. Uh, the two by sixes I'm gonna screw onto this bridge will probably rot away in another year or two and I'll get to do this whole repair all over again, which gives me even more experience. But enough talking about it, let's patch up this bridge and get it more leveled out and so it doesn't collapse down into the stream. Well, that turned out pretty well, and all in all was a pretty simple fix. Besides the fact I found out I have a hole in my boot. I'm gonna have to dip even deeper into my reserve funds to buy myself a new pair of boots. Well, this should make the bridge passable again. I might end up adding a few more boards there at the end so there isn't too much of a gap. The deer are already pretty skittish of this. Maybe we'll do some upgrades in the future. Maybe some indoor, outdoor carpeting. That's been suggested many times on my channel here. It seems the deer are quite skittish of it uh, with their hooves hitting these boards. Uh, so stay tuned. Maybe we'll do something like that in the future. We'll see how many more years we can get out of this bridge. So we'll continue to run a trail camera here. It's always fun to see what for critters use this bridge. But until then, I want to thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video.